I've taken hundreds of flights and over time picked up on unspoken rules regarding what passengers should do and what they should not do on an airplane. These are the things that I wish I had known and I wish every passenger would know prior to taking their first flight, especially number 13. It's kind of gross. Suitcases and larger carry-on bags are the only things that should be going in the overhead bin space. Anything that is considered a personal item, such as a jacket or a backpack or a laptop case, is meant to go under the seat in front of you. Only put those things up in the overhead bin when there is extra space, which is a rarity these days with full flights. Do not ask the flight attendant to lift your heavy suitcase into the overhead bin. Many airlines prohibit their attendants from doing this since there is a risk of injury. If they decide to do it anyway and then they hurt themselves, they may not be covered by their insurance, so you are putting them in a tough position by asking. Try asking another passenger instead if you really need the support. The two middle armrests are reserved for the passenger that is seated in the middle seat. So both of them belong to that unfortunate person seated in the middle. And then whether you're in the middle seat or an aisle seat, it does not matter. If you do not know the person that is beside you, keep that armrest down, please. Leave the comment middle seat down in the comment section if you have ever been that unfortunate passenger. I certainly have and it is never a fun situation. Keep your seatbelt fastened on top of your blanket if you intend to doze off. If the seatbelt sign goes on due to turbulence mid-flight and a flight attendant cannot see that your seatbelt is buckled, they will need to wake you up. It's annoying for you and the flight attendant, especially if you have your seatbelt on and buckled but just had it covered by a blanket or by your jacket. Do not try to move seats, especially not before the flight has taken off and especially not without asking a flight attendant first. It's a glorious moment when you think there are a ton of empty rows on a flight, but until you actually take off, you don't know if those seats are going to be reserved and if the passengers are on their way. If the seats still happen to be free after takeoff, once the seatbelt sign has been turned off, ask a flight attendant if you can move. More often than not, you can. Be prepared to place your drink order when it is your turn. The flight attendant is going to come around with a drink cart and you will likely see them coming. Do not act like it is a total shock when they ask you what you would like to drink. Be prepared with your order and have a backup in mind in case your first choice is not available. Also, take your headphones out while you speak to them. It's just the respectful thing to do. And as the meal service comes around, Try to refrain from reclining your seat. If you do recline your seat, the person seated behind you is going to have very little space to enjoy their snack or their airplane meal. This next one is good to know. Bulkhead seats are not a walkway. A bulkhead seat is the seat that is located at the partition or the wall that separates different sections of the airplane cabin. Typically, these seats are located in the first row of each cabin section and a passenger will often pay more for this seat as it has more leg room. And because there is more leg room, it can look like it is an area that you could walk through to get from one side of the cabin to the other. I did this on one of my flights to get from one side of the cabin to the other without thinking much of it until the woman looked at me and said, Miss, this is not a walkway. And you know what? She was right. I wouldn't want any random passenger walking through my row of seats either. If someone is wearing headphones, do not disturb them unless you need to. This applies to those big over-the-ear headphones as well as small earbuds and even the wired set that is connected to the entertainment system. If you need to get out of your seat, you can ask someone with headphones to move, but general chattiness needs to stop when someone puts their headphones on. And if you are the passenger that is seated in the aisle, it is your responsibility to stand up when the people beside you need to get out of their seat. And do not just half stand up and then make that person awkwardly shimmer past you trying not to touch you. Stand up, move into the aisle, and let them out of their seat. And then either wait or stand up again when they come back and need to get back into their seat. If you are flying on an older plane that still has a window shade, keep the shade down when the cabin lights are turned off. This is particularly relevant on a red-eye flight where you are flying overnight. As you change time zones, there may be some sunlight. Look around. 
If the other shades are closed, keep your shade closed as well. There is absolutely no situation on an airplane where it is appropriate to go barefoot. Do not take your shoes and your socks off and then curl your feet up onto the seat beside you. Feet are gross and strangers' feet are even more gross. You also do not want to be walking around the plane barefoot and especially even with your socks on, do not go to the washroom without your shoes. Those bathroom floors are gross. On the topic of gross, also please try to save your farts for the washroom as well. I know it's not always possible, but do your best. I was reading an article earlier today that said do not simply walk through the aisle of the airplane and crop dust while everyone is asleep. I thought that was both funny, gross, <laughs> but also accurate. Everyone knows what you're doing. Don't do it, go to the bathroom, do your business, and move on. On a similar note, do not put perfume or cologne on before a flight. Many people have allergies and are very sensitive to certain smells. It can be extremely uncomfortable to sit beside someone with a smell that does not agree with you. Many of you know someone, like my brother, who is going to be very sensitive to smells. He will end up breaking out in hives on his neck as well as having itchy red eyes simply because he sits beside someone that has a floral perfume. You can also bring food and drinks onto the airplane with very few restrictions. But smelly foods, which often include most hot foods, should be avoided for the comfort of those around you. We are packed into planes so tightly, and if you are sick, please consider wearing a mask. You can choose to wear a mask on an airplane if you would like with no judgment. If you are sick or even just have a lingering cough, it is so much more comfortable for the people around you if you choose to wear a mask. So please consider us and do it. And once the plane has landed and it comes time to get off the plane, let the passengers that are in front of you deplane before you try to get off the plane yourself. It completely disrupts the flow of traffic if you try to get ahead of other passengers in a rush to get off the plane. These passengers may have also paid extra to have seats that are closer to the front of the plane and deserve the benefit of getting off the plane first. Do you agree with these unspoken rules or do you have any rules of your own that you would like to add in? Definitely let us know down in the comment section and on your way down there consider subscribing as I would love to see you back here for more travel tips and hacks next week. Safe travels. Bye.